I just want to document my life. I don't want to do too much. I don't, want, I don't want to be extra with it. I just want to enjoy my time with you guys and just show you bits and clips of my life. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Janelle Roberts. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and, and read me for filth because I know that I kept saying I'm gonna be more consistent, but to be honest, I feel like 2023 was the year, I think the last six months was the year I was experiencing extreme burnout. It was time for me to slow down completely. Time for me to like kind of reel in like on my dreams because I think sometimes we can just be in this go 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 spirit and it's not realistic but it also ruins intentional time with the people that we do care about so this year for 2024 i'm mostly focusing on intentional intentional time quality time with myself quality time with my man it's just a lot of different things we have so many things happening this year we have a wedding to plan like i'm getting married this year oh my god my podcast company is launching like there's a lot of like amazing things happening this year and i'm just really excited um i recently made a podcast and i was talking about like a really tough friendship breakup that i went through and the responses were so crazy because i would say 2023 was the year of shedding 2023 was the year of letting go 2023 was the year of healing and i feel like 2024 is the year of harvesting all of the seeds that we've been planting um as we move through like this season of vlogs i really want to like focus on just creating like something for you guys that you feel connected to but something that also inspires you in a weird way i don't know how to say this or like be pitchy in a weird way but i just want to document my life i don't want to do too much I don't, want, I don't want to be extra with it. I just want to enjoy my time with you guys and just show you bits and clips of my life. I'm taking you guys along with me for the week. Um, as you saw, we were just at the studio um, and I was recording my podcast. I just hired my first assistant named Puvy and she's absolutely amazing. Like things are moving. Like it's weird because now like I'm financially responsible for someone else's like livelihood, which is which is kind of crazy to say but it's just so crazy how much life has changed just for me in like the last like two years like two years ago i had going on three years ago i had like 1300 followers on instagram now i'm almost at 10,000. Two years ago three years ago i had no followers on tiktok now i'm at over 200,000. you know three years ago I didn't even have any like following on YouTube and now we're at almost 4,000. I know if I was more consistent on here, we would do better. But I am just so excited to take you guys along with me for the next couple of days. Get the ship rolling, get the ball rolling. Um, we are moving around. So today I'm actually out to run some errands. Um, I just have to go meet up with like my LTK uh, manager i don't know if it's my ldk manager or what i didn't even tell you guys i'm with a new management company now and i really really enjoy it like i was literally getting so taken advantage of by my previous management company so my new manager is just absolutely amazing like if you are trying to get in the content creating space just make sure the people that people make sure they're vouching for you because sometimes people will use you as cash cows that's a little bit off topic but i thought i could take you guys along for a week in my life i'm actually about to go run some errands like i said before then after running these errands, um, I have a couple of meetings and then today I'm going out to a ranch for my friend um, Kenzie's brand, friend of mine. I'm taking my best friend Ifoma with me, which is important because a lot of times in these spaces, I am the only person. I'm the only person that looks like me. So I think it's essential for me to bring people with me who look like me too. Um, I can't explain it. It's a varied... And it's not like people are doing it on purpose or intentionally or anything like it's just like i feel like there aren't a lot of us in this space sometimes so it can get very weird you know so let's go let's head out um i am so excited to take you with me let's get back to the vlog i don't even know where to begin because it's been so long since i've done this but let's go head out let's make some moves
woman right here, guys. Look at her. Yeah, I had to gather myself a little bit. So I was like, just going through it. My therapist like, Evelyn, how long have we known each other? Um, I can't do math. It's since the fifth grade. It's the fifth grade. I always yeah. hit the board. It's the fifth. The fifth. I didn't get to go since. you can hear me because I'm like inside somewhere we are currently at Broken Bow Ranch with the horses and I'm here to support my friend Kenzie for her brand shop friend of mine it's just such a vibe here I'm mostly gonna insert b-roll footage just so you guys can catch the vibe uh, come here I brought you filming with me because yeah I hate being the only person only one that looks like me in some of these situations. But say hi, Evoma. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Evoma. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Um, so today on Janelle and Efi's uh, world tour, we are at Broken Bow Ranch. Um, we're gonna ride horses today. Um, yeah. Why'd you say yeah. Broken Bow Ranch? <laughs> <laughs> we are though. It's so cute here though. The vibe. The vibe is absolutely impeccable. The weather is nice. As hell. Are we right? So are we riding the horses or not? Have we decided? I'm gonna have to talk to the little horsey and see if we're on the same vibe. On the same vibe. Same vibe I know. feel that. Gotta, I'm a little nervous know. too. I need to make gotta sure. Gotta scope the scene. Gotta make sure scope that we're on the same page. Yes. Um, I don't yeah. know you, you don't know me, but we gonna see. Like you gotta be on my page. Cause mm -hmm. like if you're trying to get too rough, it's not gonna work out. It's well. not. So yeah. But let's be back. <laughs> let's enjoy the rest of the night. <laughs> I genuinely cannot get over how impressive this camera is. This is the Canon G7X. I usually record with the Sony ZVF1, but this is really, really bomb. I was able to set the features in a certain way. I can't remember. Say hi to Luke. Hi. I just finished washing my weave. I have four bundles of hair inside of my head. Four. And whenever I went to the ranch yesterday, my hair ended up like, my hair smells so much like the smoke that they had there. So I was just like, I hope y'all can see me. So I was just like, okay, like I, I really need to wash it. It smells. And if you have weave and you have extensions, you know how long this takes. And I hate when I have to blow dry it, but that Dyson, chef's kiss. I was hanging out with my friend Evelyn. I know I probably didn't like vlog that much and talk that much today. Today was one of those days it was just packed with meetings and I just kind of, sometimes it's, just, sometimes I feel burnout from talking. I cannot lie. Like I feel it so badly. I'm trying to do time management so well and I feel like now that I have an assistant to help me with editing my podcast, I'm going to be able to be more attentive when it comes to YouTube because I actually love YouTube. I love recording and i love editing but i think i was having to choose between my podcast and youtube and it just became so overwhelming so uh it just feels good i'm currently 
in my bedroom, in my bed, and I'm so tired. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, I'm exhausted. Like, I'm so sleepy. Tomorrow I'm excited because we are going to go run some errands, we gotta go by the office. If I keep looking up, it's because the screen is up. So make sure you look right here. We're going by the office. We have a lot of stuff to catch up on. Um, I ended up getting like road mics for the podcast studio. Um, I have to get more cameras. It's just coming together. If you've if you have not seen like the updates, please go check out like my previous like videos just so you can see because the before and after is so drastic. I can't even describe it. Maybe I'll try to insert some clips here, but the full video I'll definitely like link it in this like description. Also, I want to show you guys this super cool hat that I got um, at the at the ranch yesterday. Um, JJR, because my middle name starts with the J. I won't be telling y'all that. I hate my middle name. I don't know why my mom tried to help me like that, honestly. Um, she added some cactuses on it, some stars. She also added some like more cactuses and a longhorn, because as you guys know, I live in Texas and I'm a country girl at heart. Like people are so shook when I say like I'm like I'm like yeah I'm from Dallas and I'm like oh you have like a little bit of like a little twang to it. And I was like oh yeah I grew up in like Terrell. I was spent a lot of time in Forney, so I am very country. So it comes out here and there, but I'm gonna go to sleep because I feel like I'm just rambling and talking about absolutely nothing. Um, the podcast episode is live, so yeah I'm gonna go to sleep. I love y'all so much. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm just talking because I'm just, there's just a lot of moving parts and I feel like I'm just rambling and I just don't want to be on here rambling, like, I don't want to do you guys like that, but, um, it's about 8 o'clock, I'm a grandma, and I'm going to be 28 in two weeks, which is wild, so I'm going to try to have this vlog up before my birthday on January 31st, but good night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. scientific minds we have today. I love this camera. It's so good, right? Where are we going? Huh? Hold on. This what? is cute. Where are you going? I'm going to the internet. I'm going to the internet. Video better. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to my office. Me and Luke went to Ikea. We like stopped, my hair looks a little crazy. Me and Luke went to Ikea, we stocked up on some stuff. Um, we're about to put some pictures to some picture frames, get some work done, add mics to some of the rooms. We're opening February 10th. We're having our launch party February 10th and I'm pretty sure it's all gonna go over well, but that's what we're doing today. Okay, we have to put them in the frame though. You already got them? Yeah. You already got all the photos? Okay. Where are they at? They're in the, they're in there. In the Vista print. We can do it in here. You want to do this right now? Yeah, why not? Okay. okay. So many um, updates recently. Like, I kind of want to show you my office right now. Is the photo guy going to do them? Yeah, the photo guy is going to do them. So, this is my layout. Can you see me? Let me to focus. This is like my personal office. 
I'll show you my setup because you guys have been asking. I keep looking up here because the screen is right here. I need to focus on looking right here. I need to just keep my eye, but let me show you around. So this is my desk area right here. These are my chairs that I got. I have these flowers I got from Etsy. All of this is actually linked in my LTK. This chair was from Wayfair. This is like where my, like my assistant sits whenever we set up the podcast. I have a new white desk coming in. This desk won't be in here. She needs to go. Does not look good in here, but it's going to go in the black room. This is my entire podcast set up. Oh my god, I love the vibe. I just have to get a sign right here that says to all the people media right here. Just so we can all come together. Um, and then right here, I have this credenza that I actually got from the Crate and Burrow outlet. I think I'm going to do two big mirrors right here because I'm just, I'm just kind of over art. I think looking for art sometimes is just like, it's a lot of work, but this is what we're working with. I do have the task cam for my podcast. It's a little bit more on the pricier side, but I do think it works really well. I also invested in the Cinema Line FX30. This camera was so expensive, but they also used this to make Netflix film. The lens was $100, but the really good lenses are like $1,800. So I'm going to just save up and get that because right now it's just a no. This camera was $3,000. And then this is a really good vlog camera. If you're looking for a great vlog camera, I think this is a really good one. It's the Sony ZV-10. I used to use the Sony ZV-F1, but this one is absolutely amazing. This room is basically done too. This is the white room. So this will be another podcast room. I have the stands that came in. So me and Luke are going to come in here and do all of this. But yeah, that's pretty much what we have going on today. I'm going to get set up, try to get everything good and ready to go. I've been really trying to like knock some of this stuff out. That way I'm not overwhelmed or stressed out when it comes time to actually do everything. So... Let's go find Luke. start on Tuesday. Huh? You do? hi guys what's up okay it's the next day i'm playing with this light that i got from amazon right now but luke and i are actually getting ready to go on a date night i caught up on some rest today i was so tired like i'm not gonna hold you to it but we're on our way to go on a date night so i thought i could take you guys along with us i am wearing this top this beverly hills top i got from revolve with my i wonder if you can see it with my riona pants and my sambas this is the look and I think I'm gonna carry my Dior bag because I have been heavily neglecting her. Babe, come show us your fit. Ooh, you look cute. You do. Take a step back. Let us see the full fit. Cute. I like it.